Shopify supports store credits for your customer accounts. You can assign credits that customers use during checkout. Let's review how to set up and use these credits. To use store credits, you must first enable it in the settings. Go to your customer settings and first make sure you're using the new account types. If your store is on the legacy accounts, you'll have to switch in order to use the credits feature. Next, scroll down to the store credits option. Use the slider to enable the feature. Once this is activated, the store credits option becomes available during checkout. Let's test this feature by adding some credits to a customer. To assign store credits, navigate to any customer in your admin. Scroll down and you'll see the store credits option. Simply click the edit icon to add or remove amounts. Select the type of adjustment you want to make and enter the value. You can choose to have these credits expire on a certain date. So if a customer doesn't use the credits before that date, they'll no longer be available. For this example, we'll give the customer a $100 store credit that doesn't expire. We review the changes and then save the amount. You can now see the total credit amount available for this customer. Click on the total to see a more detailed view of all credit activity. All credits, debits, and orders will be visible from within this view. So now, let's go back and add more credit to the account so you can see how the activity is logged within the view. Let's add another $50 and save it to the account. When we return to the credit details page, you can see both credit adjustments in the list. Debits will also be listed in the same manner. If we go back and create a new debit on the same customer account, you'll see this adjustment reflected in the list. You will always see a detailed list of activity from all the customer's store credits. Let's now switch to the customer and use the credits to complete a checkout. In order to use store credits, a customer must be logged into their account. Guest checkouts cannot utilize store credits. When we log in as our customer, we'll navigate to an item that we want to purchase within the store. We'll add the product to the cart and proceed to the checkout page. With the credits feature enabled, the customer now has the option to use the credits from within their account to complete the purchase. The total credit amount will be visible on the checkout page. Clicking on this option will apply the credit and recalculate the order total. Since we have more credit than the total, we can complete this purchase without needing an additional payment. So now when we go back to the customer and review their credit details, we can see the full adjustment and order history on their account. The order that we just placed is shown as a debit against the total. Since there's no expiration date, the customer can use the remaining balance for any future order. Returning to the Shopify admin, we can view the order that was just placed. You can see that the amount was paid in full. If you scroll down to the timeline, you'll see that the amount was paid using the store credits. For those of you using the Shopify API, the transaction data will reflect the payment as the store credit gateway. Let's now try ordering another product to use the remaining credit balance. We add this product to the cart and proceed to checkout. This time, we'll see the adjusted remaining credit total. When we click apply, we'll see that there is still a balance remaining. The customer can then use any standard payment method to pay for the amount that's not covered by the store credit. So now you can see how easy it is to apply credits to your Shopify store. Your customers will appreciate the ease of use and security.